Ué, o nosso sangue é o pau do Cegal, que é o estilo de esmaga com todo o sangue de água. Mas tá, é só o bicho que deu o sangue. Viu, Lady, foi a bola de que bate no... Sim, da praia, que garoto. Sim, é o pau das coisas. Vou perder na estrumada a onde for carpão. É o espelho. Já que eu te bote esse olho de lá pra gente. É o soltado de boca. Now I'm seeing trouble. Can't guess it. I'm going to point. I'm sure what you call it. You will tell. It's just doing this one job. It has like double image. Must be a bad stamping. Hey, the left side of the stones this time. He's got a pot toy. Can't be so sure. Let's check in the top to my toy to let you know that you know what you got, boy. This is a 1925 double-down penny. It's a big error. But I want those pay hundreds of dollars for. And don't go getting in a debt with square on kids. And you got it. You remember the last time you tried to beat a construed trying to sell more toys? Yes. Tell your moms I trick me in the front of the market and what the toys would yes. Toys are only valuable when they're rare. And Uncle Scrooge is the guy who makes them rare. On the other hand, if one were careful and only sold a few of each rare toy, hmm. Uh, the what? <laughs> Uncle Scrooge? Uh, shall we go up? Shall we go up? Oh, well, and thanks. I'm about to make out those clothes and offer who can't refuse. Here we go again. Guess what, Dr. Scrooge? We'll work for half still. Fifteen cents an hour. Oh, so? Good for me. I trust there's one other detail. Well, just that I pick the toys you pay us with. And your walk home on payday will just happen to take you past the coin dealer. So what? Those toys are doing you any good. And some coin collector will appreciate them. That's precisely where you're wrong, nephew. Coin collectors make me sick. They collect their coins only because other people put a value on them. They look their old coins up in price guides that tell them the fool things are worth more than their face value. But why? They don't enjoy their coins. They don't dive in them like porpoises. Or burrow through them like gophers. Or toss them up and let them hit them on the head. They don't even build model forts out of them. They put their coins in plastic sleeves and are even afraid to touch them for fear they'll be worth less to somebody else. <laughs> they spend their lives building a meaningless collection that they only plan to someday sell to a buyer who only plans to resell it. It's all so silly. I suppose you ought to eat too when you talk to what the connection is saying. The difference is that I value each and every coin as a personal memento. For instance, I earned this half dollar trading coconuts in Pago Pago in 1920. And this nickel, I earned it in 1933 selling vacuum cleaners in the Dust Bowl. Ah, those were the days. Nephew, I've learned to treasure that which has value to me, not to somebody else. That's what life's all about. So, you'll sell your old toys for half price as for your old recent. Big difference. Not at all. Monetarily, my coins are worth their face value. No more, no less. Then, you're saying you would let me put my old toys on payday? If it gets me a discount on wages, certainly. Why not? <laughs> Let's go, kids. We'll teach you to scrooge a lesson about the price of producers. <laughs> Someone is about to learn a lesson, boys. We know what the scrooge
My word, you do have some rare coins, and all in uncirculated condition as if they'd only had one owner. You guessed it, Ace. Tupers, who said there's nothing such King King Dollar as worth five thousand dollars? Are coins only a good news and for more valuable? Well, generally speaking, yes. Come on, my dogs. I'll just lose can't take these peddling coins. We'll get give up for some real juices. Captain, the voice of doom! Yes, I filled the bin from the top. So the oldest coins are on the bottom. And no, you can't borrow my channel dredger. Extra greed means extra work. Far by me. I'll be retiring Tom Pony. And little extra work won't matter. You can't get some lumber and slow attacks. We'll open a money mine. As long as you polish what you dig, go ahead. The lower layers could stand some air to kill the mold on the greenbacks. But still, I hope I know what I'm doing. Daddy! The people who get the rear on the torch kit! Who's the bottom boys? Here's a little known at Torch the Shine! This is the S time list a hundred thousand dollars. Wow! This nineteen thirteen three little has worth a total of a million bucks. Only five are known to exist. Yeah? Well, I found a whole flower set full of them. Keep that one, and I'll win Bowie the rest. I'm sending up more green bags with the vacuum holes. Stand by. Hey, what's that? Gold. I'm sort of full of gold pieces. Oh, please kill my heart. Wow. This is what we're going to do. I wonder how far back we go. Look, I want a wacky gun to do it. Go back, go. expect this. Hurry, hurry! What the... What have you done to my ladder? Kids kind of shooting around it here. Hurry, I guess, Scrooge. Concern it. Wait a minute. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. I'll fire up the channel dredger. But where do I dig? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Ah! Huh? Uh -huh. It's dark in here. This is a fine trick to play on your poor old uncle. Come out of there this instant. Now what the Scrooge? The force is coming out of the vacuum holes. 
Donald? Is that you? Are you alright? Yes. <laughs> I think so. <coughs> One of your solar plants must have fallen or something. <laughs> I'm in a tiny air pocket. <laughs> Somebody get me out! <laughs> But where do we dig? There's no telling how far this hose was pushed by the cave-in. It would take a month to dig up this entire bin. Donald needs to be rescued sooner than that. Donald, what do we do? Wait, there's one chance. Donald, listen carefully. Can you move enough to reach the end of this hose? Reach out and grab a coin, any coin, and stick it into the hose. Okay. I put in a nice blue toy. What do I do? Turn off my air? No. Blow into the hose as hard as you... Ugh! Ugh. Why don't you fly? I'm going hard you. Blow it, blow it, stupid toy out of my hose. Where did that toy land? Have an eggs? A gold doubloon! That's one of the coins I found in the Caribbean in 1911 while diving for treasure on the Spanish main. I know exactly where those coins are buried. Let me at that dredger. Hold on, Dr. Donald. We're on our way. Okay. I won't go anywhere. Hooray! You found your Dr. Scrooge. You're a hero! Tut tut, boys. Does it look okay? How's your injured? Now, except he has dirty impressions of brushing his faces all over his body. Is he? Is he? Yes. I'm at it this far. Don't kill me now. How did you ever find me? I just told you right where to get from the store and you blew up the house. Well, I'm not going back into that bin. That one coin will have to be my next pay. I said I'd done one. You might say so. It's a 1786 Brasher doubloon. The only coin in the world that's rarer is a certain 1916 quarter I'd rather not discuss. Oh, <laughs> Jackpot! I'm off to the horn dinner! Uncle Donald, that toy saved your life! How did you swallow that? Can't see the big alligator to you? You bet your beat! I must only retire until my country escaped! How much do you think I shall ask for it? We can go! You might have won the price on sale! We can't think of any amount of your money and you to have in the Uncle Donald back! You made your blasted point! The only real value any kid has is what it means to each of us personally. Hearts and heroes. Keep your stupid toy! I'll do that. And all future such deals are off. I won't risk you being buried alive in my bin again. Why, my insurance rates would skyrocket. I'm still not going back to that day, day money bin. Don't you have some people to talk with you? Yes, I think so. <coughs> you can organise these old business reports my office sent me while I was globe hopping and building my empire. Oh, my ancient airbobs. A half century of mail. I'm so tired and bored that, that my eyes are playing tricks on me. It looks like the stubborn is not a hassle. I'm playing silent upside down. Damn desert. I'm in a block. What's the junior woodchuck cow book say? I started 1924, 24 cents, and started bobbing out of my stamp. 
Where's the American scab killers? Hey, I can get him! You bet I can get him! It is time for a break! The ice cream show this will all dust!